We all know the effects of cowboy builders, their poor workmanship and the scams they pull. Have you been caught out or know someone who has? Stick around because I will reveal the secrets to spotting cowboys and how to protect yourselves from their sneaky tricks before they screw you over. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Barclay Builds, I'm Ben. I've got two decades of experience building houses and now work as a building inspector and I'm passionate about helping you understand construction and getting stuck into DIY. Let's get into it. Cowboy builders often ask for money up front. It's for materials, they say. That could be true. Not every company can bankroll multiple projects until they get paid. If it's to buy materials, get a list of the items and quantities needed and then order materials to site yourself. Just make sure you have enough space to store them. Would I hire someone with bad reviews? I don't think you would, but if that builder hasn't got any references or those references are old, ask to look at previous work so you can speak to the homeowner. In my opinion, no reference or recommendation means no deal. What do you think about low prices? If a builder's price is so low in comparison to other quotes, that's a big red flag. Cowboys will often price work low to win the project, but have no intention of finishing it. I guess a low price could mean it's a new company and they're trying to break into the market. True, but ask for a reason why the price is so low, or if they've forgotten to quote for a certain aspect of work. Why do builders ask for cash only? A builder who deals in cash only is fudging the numbers somewhere. If he's being dishonest to the tax man, he's most likely being dishonest to you. How do you know this stuff? Because I'm subscribed to Barclay Builds. If you like my videos, consider subscribing. Tell them to comment below with other signs they look for in a cowboy builder. You just told them. If there's no contract or your builder isn't willing to sign a contract, what should you do? You shouldn't deal with that person and certainly don't trust them. They don't want to be held accountable for their work and without a contract, it'll be hard to find them in court. Forget that, court cases are expensive and they take ages. Okay, but what if their company isn't tax registered? This would raise red flags. A reputable and established company should be over the £85,000 VAT threshold. The only exception to this is if they're a new company. It's worth checking the quote to see if VAT is included or not. What do you do if a builder asks you for a fixed price? You should be cautious. Construction is never straightforward and unforeseen problems can happen out of the blue. If there's a fixed contract and something happens, your builder's forced to cut corners so he doesn't lose money, meaning you get a substandard result. I only want the best for my house. Would you work with a builder if he didn't have a builder's merchant account? If that was the only red flag, then possibly. A new company may not yet have a builder's merchant account because they're so new, which is a valid point. However, that's rare. Potentially, if the builder doesn't have an account, it's because they've been refused one. If the merchant won't give the builder a line of credit, you shouldn't either. The more signs you see, the more likely the builder's a cowboy. However, if your proposed builder shows one or two of these signs, it's not the end of the world, so long as they have a sensible and genuine reason. Now you know how to spot a cowboy builder, check out this video on how deep foundation should be, as that will help you when you start your project.